I'm Kota Kitamura, a first year in high school. Around the time when the third semester began, a weird rumor spread. It says that you'll be unhappy if you're seated next to Sachi Yufu, one of my classmates. Come to think of it, I received the worst test scores when I was next to her. I got injured when I was next to her. My girlfriend dumped me when my seat was next to hers. I guess they believe the earth is flat. Are you guys serious? She's got nothing to do with any of those. You don't know that. I do. Then switch seats with me. Yeah, sure. Really? Your current seat is next to Hitomi-chan's. She's the hottest girl at school. I don't care. I thought my seat became next to Yufu's. But hey, this is my first time talking to her. Yeah. She said that with a small voice. Honestly, she's never sociable. She's mousy and reads books in a corner of the classroom all the time. You'll be unhappy if you're seated next to her? It's stupid. Who spread that rumor? While thinking that, part of me was hoping nothing bad would happen to me. Wow, that was close. Is that... no way. During class... Ouch! I cut my finger with a piece of paper. Damn. Oh, maybe this is... No, no, it's just a coincidence. Are you okay? Oh, this is her first time talking to me. I'm fine, I just got a little cut on my finger. Okay, here. Yufu gave me a bandage. Thanks. She's nice. As I thought that, a gust of wind came through the window. Ah. Oh! The wind lifted Yufu's hair to reveal her face that's covered with bangs all the time. Seriously? She's really pretty! Who said she'd make others unhappy? I bet they never knew she's as beautiful as an angel. Yufu, hey! M morning I read the book you told me about yesterday. I can't get her out of my thoughts. I've come to know that she's great at listening to others and often giggles while nodding along. What's going on? No idea. If only I didn't switch places with him, I hope he won't get in an accident. I was aware of what the boys were saying, but I wasn't aware that there was a girl who was unpleasant about me and Yufu becoming close. Kota Kitagawa. Seems like he's come to know Sachi is pretty, even though I spread that rumor to keep boys away from here. I noticed that Sachi was really pretty on the day of the entrance ceremony. Oh, she's so attractive. She's an eyesore. I have to take measures before boys notice she's cute. I was really pissed that there was someone prettier than me. I tried to become close to Sachi. Hey! I'm Hitomi. Nice to see you. N nice to see you too. I'm Sachi. I believe you'll become more attractive if your bangs are longer. Really? Sachi, the fortune telling said that you shouldn't speak with boys often. Oh, okay. Keep your skirt long. I don't want you to get a cold. Yeah, thanks. I gave her advice to make her unpopular with boys, but she's so adorable. She never knows to suspect others. Before I knew it, I was captivated by her pureness. He can't lay his hands on her. Why don't we go to the movies sometime? Oh, Sachi, I want to go to the movies. Y yeah, sure. <laughs> even though I asked her out first. Pair up with somebody and work on it. Yufu, why don't we... Sachi, let's do it together. Yeah. Is she trying to keep me away from Yufu? She's mine. Oh, that book. Oh, yeah, this is another book from the author who you recommended me the other day. I thought I'd give it a try. I love this one too. Mm -hmm, me too. The protagonist is really lovely. Yeah, she reminds me of you. Oh. Um. Sachi! Hiromi-chan. Not again. You shouldn't speak with boys. I told you about the fortune telling. You'll be unhappy. What? What are you talking about? Oh, wait. Maybe the one who spread the rumor is... But he's so nice. Oh. I never thought she'd say that. Sachi, me or him? Which one do you like better? Oh. I... It's you, Hitomi-chan, of course. You're the first person who talked to me. I'm glad you taught me a lot of things. Sachi. But it's not like I dislike you, Kodakun. I'm plain and I'm bad at communication. Still, you talk to me a lot. Thank you. Hey. What? Rumor that whoever is seated next to Yufu will be unhappy. Are you the one who spread it? Um... Y yeah, I've never seen such an innocent pretty girl like her ever. 
I talked to her to pick on her, but her personality was great too. Are you kidding me? Some boys will believe that rumor. Yufu doesn't deserve this. I... I know. You don't. Leave me alone! Hitomi left at a sprint. After thinking it through, I decided to tell Yufu the truth. She might suffer more if she keeps following whatever Hitomi tells her. I have to save her. After school, I looked for Yufu, but she'd left the classroom with Hitomi already. I gotta catch up with them. Hitomi-chan, what's wrong? Huh? You look a little depressed. Are you feeling sick? No, I'm fine. There they are. Yufu! Sachi, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. I was jealous of you. No, maybe I still am. Really? I noticed you were prettier than me when I first met you, and I didn't want anyone to be more popular than me. I told you to grow out your bangs, pretending to be nice to you. <gasps> you have amazing legs. You'll look great in a short skirt. That's not true. I told you to avoid boys because I didn't want any of them to fall for you. I'm the one who spread that stupid rumor. Hitomi-chan, I'm so sorry. I never thought Hitomi would rat herself out. Since I didn't know if I should talk to them, I just decided to see how things would go. Um, I'm so surprised that I don't know what to say, but... I know. The rumor is true. Huh? Whoever is seated next to me will be unhappy, right? Y yeah It happened back in middle school, too. Whoever was seated next to me became unhappy. I don't know why. I chose to go to this school that is away from my hometown, but it still happens. No way! That was such a made-up... No! I believe you didn't want to do what you did. Something in me made you do that. Her words sent such a jolt through my whole body. I couldn't hold myself back anymore and butted in. It's not true. Kitagawa-kun. Koda, did you hear that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to overhear, but I'm sure it's not your fault, Yufu. Look at me, I'm not unhappy. We don't know that. You might be, later. No, I'll never be unhappy. Let me prove it. Kota? I started paying much more attention to everything. If I got injured or became sick, Yufu would blame herself for that. If I stayed healthy and fine, she wouldn't do that. We changed seats a little while later, but I switched places with one who'd been seated next to her. Yufu made a sad face every time she saw me at first, but started wearing a smile more often at some point. On the other hand, he told me was... K kitagawa kun Hey! Oh! Um, Hitomi-chan tied my hair up and helped me wear light makeup. I hope I don't look weird. No, you don't. You look really great. Th thanks Is that really Yufu? She's so pretty. I guess she works as a model and pretends to be an introvert at school for her work. I know Sachi's as beautiful as an angel. She always thought she'd make others unhappy, but now she wants to become sociable. Thanks to Koda. Wow, she gave herself such a makeover. Well, I know Hitomi-chan is the prettiest one. Oh. After school, I gathered the courage to confess my love to Yufu. Um, Yufu, I believe you know what I'm about to say. I'm... But wait. <gasps> Let me say it. I always thought I'd make others unhappy, but you let me realize I was wrong about that. I can't thank you enough. I will never believe a stupid theory like that ever again and want to be confident in myself so that I can stay beside the boy who I love. W would you date me? Yufu, I couldn't repress my excitement and it caused me to hug her. Kodakun. I'm sorry. It's okay. I was a bit surprised. I love you too. I want you to become my girlfriend. Yes. We started dating and ten years passed. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you, Hiromi-chan. I'm proud of you, Koda. Why? You've never been injured or become sick ever since you started dating Sachi. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You've become happy thanks to Sachi. Hiromi-chan. Yeah, I'll make her happy as of today. Koda-kun. An angel whose seat was next to mine has become my wife. I'm gonna build a strong, happy family with her.